planes have undergone significant changes over time. Besides plane design and machinery, the landing gear of aircraft has also evolved. The plane landing gear is a component that supports the aircraft on the ground, whether during takeoff, landing or parking. It also functions to bear the weight of the plane during landing and takeoff and absorbs shocks during landing. Therefore, landing gear must have high strength and durability to bear these loads. The plane landing gear manufacturing process requires complex and highly precise procedures. It also demands adequate facilities and advanced technological equipment. In the early days of aviation, fixed landing gear was the standard. But now, landing gear is designed to be retractable to improve aerodynamics and reduce friction. Aircraft landing gear comprises a complex system consisting of a strong structure, wheels, brakes, hydraulics and electronics. With this structure, the landing gear can safely handle landings and endure extreme conditions. One renowned manufacturer of aircraft landing gear is Safran Aircraft Engines. The company, based in Courcouronne, France, has played a crucial role in developing innovative landing gear technology. This is to ensure the safety and performance of modern aircraft, both commercial and military. Safran has also contributed to the production of landing gear for the Airbus A350-900, optimizing the aircraft's weight and reliability while reducing operational costs. The aircraft landing gear manufacturing process takes place directly at Safran's factory and begins with engineers creating physical and digital mock-ups. Once the design phase is complete, the manufacturing team takes over. In the landing gear manufacturing process, Safran utilizes advanced and precise machining to shape components down to millimeter measurements. These components are then heat treated to enhance corrosion resistance and overall toughness. The parts are coated with paint and undergo quality checks to ensure there are no defects before the assembly process begins. The assembly process involves collaboration between human hands and machines to ensure that every part fits seamlessly. Landing gear is thoroughly tested before being installed on the aircraft. Safran always ensures that every landing gear product they deliver to aircraft manufacturers meets strict standards. First, skilled technicians disassemble the landing gear system, clean each component meticulously and document them for traceability. Each part undergoes rigorous inspections by experts in the field. They employ advanced non-destructive testing techniques like ultrasonic testing and visual inspections. Precision machining is then used to restore these parts. This is followed by welding and detailed heat treatment to bring the parts back to their original specifications, concluding with the assembly of the system. Airbus itself has long been in partnership with the French aircraft manufacturer Dahar Sokata. Dahar Sokata is known for producing small private aircraft as well as other components in aircraft. One component resulting from the collaboration between Airbus and Dahar Sakata is the aircraft landing gear door. During the manufacturing process of landing gear doors, Dahar Sakata utilizes advanced technology in the form of high-class computerized fabrication techniques. Robots play a crucial role in the fabrication process to produce accurate and precise results while minimizing errors. In addition to Safran and Daher Sokata, many other companies also offer cutting-edge technology for aircraft landing gear, such as Dark Aero. 
This aerospace company is pushing the boundaries with its innovative approach to aircraft design and manufacturing, including landing gear systems. Dark Aero specializes in the development of experimental aircraft. They use advanced materials such as carbon fiber, aluminum, and apply modern engineering principles to create high-performance aircraft. Dark Aero has a sophisticated tool called Tormach CNC mills for producing complex parts like trailing link landing gear components. Another prominent aircraft landing gear manufacturer is Michelin, which also plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety and performance of critical components in aircraft landing gear development. To create high-quality aircraft landing gear, Michelin employs advanced manufacturing technology. Every step in the aircraft landing gear manufacturing process is meticulously executed to meet industry set standards. From proper rubber mixing to tire formation and rigorous quality control inspections. Michelin's tire framework, made as a multi-layered structure, is constructed with polyester and nylon threads woven into a rubber mixture. This is done to provide flexibility and strength especially under extreme loads of up to 35 tons with multiple incline cycles over a full day. Landing gear must undergo testing to ensure the aircraft's safety and reliability. One critical evaluation used to test landing gear is the extreme brake test. This strict procedure is carried out by aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus. As part of aircraft maintenance, the landing gear repair process is a critical aspect. Other aerospace companies like Embraer have made significant contributions, particularly in the production of aircraft landing gear. Inside Embraer's repair station, teams of skilled technicians and engineers work diligently to ensure airworthiness in landing gear components. The workers at the Brazil-based company are highly skilled and certified to perform various tasks using mechanical equipment like hydraulics and electromechanics related to landing gear systems. Once assembled, the landing gear is sent to the aircraft manufacturing plant. The landing gear will then undergo integration or installation into the aircraft body. During the integration phase, the landing gear is mounted on the aircraft and integrated into the overall flight system by trained and professional teams. In this process, workers also ensure that the landing gear functions properly and meets strict safety standards before the aircraft is ready for operation. As one of the world's largest aircraft manufacturers, Boeing routinely conducts extensive testing on each of its assembled aircraft. Boeing's testing phase includes a series of airborne maneuvers, takeoff, and landing tests. Among all the testing phases Boeing conducts, one of the most hazardous is the extreme takeoff test. Although challenging, this test aims to assess the aircraft's performance under abnormal conditions such as high altitude, temperature, and low air density. This testing phase also involves using the aircraft in scenarios of excess load, reduced power, or non-ideal conditions. Another dangerous test Boeing has conducted is the rejected takeoff, which occurs when a pilot suddenly applies brakes before takeoff. The purpose of this test is to determine how quickly the aircraft can safely stop if it needs to abort takeoff attempts. In one particularly hazardous scenario, a Boeing 747-8 was loaded with maximum takeoff weight and equipped with brakes already worn out by 100%. In this test, the heat generated by the brakes even caused the aircraft's landing gear to catch fire. 
Fortunately, Boeing has equipped their tires with special puncture-resistant technology to deflate the tires before they burst. In contrast, Airbus often investigates the durability of its aircraft components using static ground testing. Static ground testing is used to check structural limits by placing the aircraft inside a giant moving cage. This cage consists of 2,500 tons of steel, lined with sensors and mechanical pulleys. It can pull and push the aircraft's wings and body, determining the absolute amount of pressure each component can handle. The components also exert pressure on the aircraft body using a massive tubular system. In many cases, the aircraft undergoes pressure far exceeding what they would experience in the air or even in space. Boeing also has a similar process to investigate the structural limits of their aircraft, known as fatigue testing. This testing phase involves a massive steel cage that can last up to three years, making it longer and much more accurate than Airbus's evaluation. In this testing phase, the Boeing 787 aircraft undergoes more than 100,000 simulated flights through a system of pulleys and sensors. This is done to assess how well the aircraft can withstand the test of time, allowing the team to determine the exact life cycle of the aircraft and when it needs maintenance. Unlike commercial aircraft in general, military aircraft often have much more extreme performance standards. This includes repeated inspections, servicing and repairs of the aircraft. One company that serves the overhaul facility for the United States Air Force's landing gear is located in Utah. The landing gear overhaul process is performed every six to ten years, depending on the type of aircraft. Overhauling the landing gear requires many experienced experts in the field. During the overhaul process, over 2,000 different parts of the landing gear can be removed, cleaned and evaluated or replaced if damaged. The overhaul process is documented extensively to ensure that each part is thoroughly inspected and replaced correctly. In addition to landing gear, military aircraft jet engines are also periodically evaluated and inspected. Engines are disassembled and cleaned every 3,000 flight cycles. The first step involves workers disassembling the engine along with the weapon systems from the aircraft body. The engine is supported with a heavy lifting cart and then moved to the workshop. After that, the engine is thoroughly inspected, including a complete examination of its history. During the inspection, the engine is disassembled into basic components and cleaned. Engines often experience wear and tear due to continuous movement during flights. Therefore, various components, from jet engines to landing gear, must be cleaned and carefully inspected to avoid damage.